it's Mrs Keane here with a maths lesson for you. We're going to be looking at telling the time. And although it says it's for Key Stage 2, actually children from as early as reception upwards can join us because we're going to start by telling the time quite simply to the o'clock, half past, quarter past and quarter to. So you will need a pencil and a piece of paper and remember that you can pause the video at any time, especially if there's something that you need to work out. Okay, let's get our brains working. We've got a quick starter. So with your pencils ready, can you write down how many days of the week? So pause your um, video. You may want to count the days of the week. You may want to write down, write them down, whichever way. Tell me how many days of the week. And hopefully you've written seven. If you haven't, go back, write them down, see which ones you've uh, missed out. How many months in a year? Pause. Write that down. Twelve. Again. If you didn't get 12, did you miss a month or two out? Did you have too many? How many weeks in a year? Hopefully you've written 52. Get a calendar, count them if you need to. How many days in a year? Now these are something you should know just straight away. It would be impossible to count the days every time, but you could do that on a calendar if you wanted to check the ones. So 365 days in a year and how many days in a leap year? Pause, write it down and hopefully you have 366. So we're going to keep going now but a bit more about time. How many seconds in a minute? Well done if you've written 60. How many minutes in an hour? 60, well done. How many hours in a day? 24, well done. Okay, so what we're going to be doing next, we're going to be looking at telling the time to the o'clock, to the half past, and quarter past and quarter to. Some of the things I'm going to be going over are to pay special attention, look at where the minute hand is and where the hour hand is and if you use the long hand to tell you exactly whether it's o'clock, half past, quarter past or quarter to and a bit further on we'll be looking at minutes past the hour. Okay so hour hand and minute hand. Now this is something that some children, some of you might find a little tricker, tricky the hour hand is the shortest hand and it shows us the time it is on the hour and the minute hand is the longer one. Now the way I remember this is that I know that hour has four letters and that's the shortest hand whereas minute has six and so that's the longer hand. So. If we look at the clock and this long number line is as if someone's cut that circle and spread it out. Got 60 minutes in one hour. So if what someone says in one hour we'll be doing something, you know you've got 60 minutes. Okay, so when the minute hand, which is that long hand, is pointing to the 12, we know it's o'clock and the shorthand will show us the hour. So if we had to look at this time, at this clock, we'll know it is eight o'clock. What time is it? Now I'd like you to pause the video in a minute and write down the times. I'd like you to have a go at writing the time um, in words. So if it's o'clock, you'll be writing the number O-C-L-O-C-K for o'clock. Any year three, fours, I'd love you to have a go at writing the time digitally as well. So, off you go. And hopefully you're going to be checking your answers. So for clock A, you've got seven o'clock. Or if you've written it digitally, you'll have seven, zero, zero. And in B, it's eleven o'clock. 
11, 0, 0. Well done. So now we're on to half past. Well done. 30 minutes is half an hour. If someone says you've got half an hour to do your work, you know you've got um, 30 minutes. And if we had to put this in our bar model, we'll know that we've got exactly half of it because we've got half an hour. So where is the long hand, the minute hand on a half past clock? It's pointing at the six, always pointing at the six. And the hour hand goes past the hour it has just been and stops, is in between, halfway in between those two hours. So in this clock, it would be half past nine. Got half past nine. Would your pen and paper pause the video and write down the times? See if you can challenge yourself to write it digitally as well. Well done, hopefully you would have written half past seven, which digitally would be 7.30, and over here you'd have half past two, which would be written as 2.30. Well done. Now we're on to quarter past. So quarter past is, or a quarter of the clock, if you like, it's 15 minutes. So if someone tells you in quarter of an hour, will be going um, to bed, you know that you've just got 15 minutes. If we had to see that in a bar model, remember we had the half past, now we've just got that quarter. Where is the long hand? Well, the minute hand, this time, in quarter past, is pointing at the three, and the hour hand just goes past the hour. So in this clock, the time would be Quarter past ten. You know it. Pain and paper. Have a go. What time is it? So have a go at A and B. Pause the video if you need to. And you should have written it is quarter past one or one fifteen. And over on clock B, it is quarter past five. 5.15. Okay, so now we're going three quarters of the way round. We've got that one quarter, another quarter, and another quarter here. So that's 45 minutes. Here are your minutes. And some people might say you've got three quarters of an hour to play that game. And if you look at the bar model, you've got a quarter, a quarter, and a quarter, knowing that 15, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Where would the minute hand be now? The minute hand now would be pointing at the nine. And we would say that is quarter two. Where's that hour hand? It's not quite past that seven. But that is the hour we need to be looking at, that next number. So the time is quarter to seven, because it is nearly seven o'clock, but not quite, so it's quarter to. Pause the film, pause the video, and have a go yourself. Hopefully, you've written it is quarter to three, or 2.45. And in clock B, it is quarter to eight, 7.45. Now just a quick little extra, 7.45 because it's gone past the seven. And that minute hand is over on the nine. And we know that that is 45 minutes. We'll do a little bit of that um, in a little while. Okay, so we've got a few, all of those times mixed up. Get your pen and paper ready. Pause the clock in about five seconds. And I'd like you to have a go at all of those. Try and challenge yourself, especially year three and four, to write the clock in a digital time too. Okay, once you've done that, I'd like you to just check your answer. If you're not right, don't worry, write the correction underneath and just maybe talk to the screen or just reason with yourself why is that o'clock 
why is it half past, what's showing you, quarter past two and so on. So there are the answers for you to check your work. Here comes another one. Again, pause your work now, have a go. And now, check your work against the answers. If you're not sure, maybe ask an adult and reason, look at where the minute hand is and where the hour hand is. Okay, so that's a quick o'clock, half past, quarter to and quarter past. But I did say that we're going to move into telling the time in minute intervals. So, as you see this, think, what is it counting in? 5 times 15, oh, you're right, that sounds like the 5 times table to me. So, pause the video and count out, you can talk to the screen, maybe if you've got a teddy next to you, you can, you can talk to them um, and say the 5 times table, so you're counting in 5s. Now that will help us because when we're telling the time, the big hand, which is the minute hand, counts in minutes. And we're looking at five minute intervals for now, so let's see. Five minutes past, ten minutes past, fifteen minutes past, and we know that we could also say quarter past here, 20 minutes past, 25 minutes past, and 30 minutes past. And what do we also say if the minute hand is over on pointing down to the sixth? You're right, it is half past. Okay. Okay, so over to you. What time does it say on the clock? Have a look at where that minute is, that minute hand. Pause the video, write your answer. Okay, so check your answer. It is 10 past four, 10 minutes past four, or if you're writing it digitally, you'll have four, 10. Here's another clock for you. What time does it say on the clock? Have a look at that minute hand. Pause, check your answer, 20 minutes past 7 or 7.20 on a digital clock. What time is it now? Think of the minutes, 15 minutes past 11 or 11.15 or you might even say quarter past 11. Okay, let's have a look now at the other half of the clock. So we're still we're back to the minutes, okay? So that was 30 minutes past. Now have a look how it's changing to 2. 25 minutes to the next hour. 20 minutes to the next hour. Now it's looking at that time that has yet to come, that has not gone past. So here if you think 5, 10, 15, 20, that's why it's 20. Have a look here, we could work it out, couldn't we? 5, 10, 15, 5 minutes, 2. 5, 10 minutes, 2. And then just 5 minutes to the hour. And then it's a clock. Okay, so let's have a look. What would be the time now? So pause, write it down. Oh, and the answer there should have been, I think it should have been 22. Have a go now. When it's pointing to 10, what would the answer be? You can write it down. Um, or you can just say it to the screen, and the answer should be 10 minutes to. When the big hand points to the 11, 
What is the time? Say it to the screen or write it down. Oops, sorry, and that should have been five minutes too. Now a quick activity for you to do. With this one I'd like you to find the corresponding digital time. So say for instance here, tell the time, it's ten minutes past five. What would that look like? Five ten. So you might um, you might just draw that or write the time five minutes past ten um, and draw the line or draw a circle and to the time. So pause the video and have a go. And here are your answers to check. And it might be useful if there's some that you haven't quite um, got correct. Just have a look. Where did you go wrong? Could you, could an older brother or sister or an adult help you to see um, where, you know, the pattern of the mistake? Okay, so look at the clock in your room. What time is it now? Pause and write down your time. And it's a very quick activity now. So pause your video and can you Think about what time is it when you wake up, when you go for a walk, when you have your lunch. Maybe you talk to a relative over the phone. What time is it when you eat dinner, when you do your homework or your schoolwork? What time is it when you go to bed? Okay, so hopefully we've got um, time to quickly make a clock. So you will need, and please pause this if you need to go and get these things, a pencil, paper, ruler, and some scissors. And I'm going to quickly move over to the projector um, to very quickly show you how you can make your um, clock. So you may not be able to see me, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So you could get a plate or something that's round quickly draw around it have a look at one of the pictures of the clocks and start with the o'clock quarter past half past and quarter two then you can fill in the rest of the numbers that's how i find it easier to do my clock dot in the middle cut that out you need two hands don't you Make sure you can see that. A small hand with a triangle at the end. Another longer minute hand. Make sure these fit. I, might, I haven't measured mine, so it might be a good idea that you're actually measuring to know that actually your long hand should be around seven, to seven, seven centimetres and your shorthand should be about three. So I can just cut those up there. Once you've cut those up and you can colour in your... Well, let me just show you that, I don't want to be too quick, you can colour that. And you've got the instructions in the slide we just showed. You can then ask um, someone to give you a time. So maybe it's um, quarter past three, and you can make different times on your clock. If you've got a split pin, stick that there. If not, you can just show the time by just moving it around. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.